Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lilium Orb action! Oh boy, oh boy, and I've already figured out what the heck I'm gonna do. It's it's pretty simple actually. We just add some offense, and we add a little bit of defense, and that's just pretty cool. You know, heal share plus, what does that do? HP recovery rate when linked increases by 25% for a total of 50%. <coughs> what? The, uh, I don't know if I understand that actually. HP recovery rate when linked increased by 25% per total. What does that mean? I actually don't understand what that means. That, that sounds very really confusing. But anyway, kick around for a bit while the wyverns heal. Where exactly are we kicking around? Outside? Let's go outside and see what the wyverns are up to today. They're not up to anything because there are no wyverns. I don't even know what we're doing now. Is this where I'm supposed to go? What should be not where I'm supposed to go? Let's check out the shop right now. There's only two times bonuses there, and that's not even. No, oh, hello there, poppin' carriage. Ah, so good. Please, a wyvern can't be that different from a horse. I have to show them that I can handle things by myself, otherwise, Rowan, he'll. Please! Okay. Well. I guess Alvin's probably who we're supposed to go to. Hi, Alvin! How are you today? <coughs> All healed up? It's gonna be Don't back, worry though. About it. it was my slip up. Yeah, but still. Huh? For once, it didn't take me a month to record another episode. It took me just like a couple you days this time around. Woo! Let's go! Lately? I failed like a million times by now. You too? It's like the spirits aren't even there to help us anymore. Just like back at Fenmont. I bet this is the Lance of Kresnik's influence. Hey, this guy's saying the spirits are disappearing and it's the King of Rashagal's fault. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about such things. The spirits would never leave us. But well, what if they Honestly, did? Do you get a kick out of spreading tall tales? They don't believe me. Of course not. You can't just tell them something like that out of the blue. Gotta give them the I proof. Guess I'm just a shady guy. The townspeople don't trust me, and neither do you. Hey, that's not true. Oh? I saved your life, and suddenly you trust me again? You're still a big fat liar. But a trusting one. Throughout this whole trip, you've never doubted a thing I told you. Even when I said the spirits had disappeared, you believed me on the spot. Because it's the truth. When someone uses a spyric, spirits die. It's cause and effect. What are you trying to say? Well, I know things you don't. Knows if spirits wink out of existence. But it's another story if the result is we humans suffer. But spirits are living things too. Listen to you. You're sounding more and more like the great Maxwell every day. That wasn't the point. Don't make fun of me. I'm not trying to. I just mean you've finally started talking like a bonafide grown-up. Bonafide? Huh? I always Make hear it called me, bonafide, huh? not bonafide. I wonder if I can protect humans and spirits too. Thanks. <laughs> Times like this, I miss being a kid. Life was so simple. I know, right? It's true. Life is simpler when you're a kid. I mean, all you really gotta worry about is school and homework, for the most part. <coughs> you don't really gotta worry about much else other than that. And then you get older and everything changes, and you're like, oh my gosh. Wait, wait no, what was it? I, I talked to Alvin, and I still gotta kick around one of the lines. Hello? Hi? Monster on the north branch of the Sapstrath High Road, a little ways off the trail. If you fail to kill them, don't come back and haunt me, okay? Oh. He was a side quest. Okay. <coughs> well. That's okay, I guess. Hello? Oh, it looks like you found some jet black feathers. I'd be happy to take them off your hands. One trade your jet black feathers with items? Uh, I, maybe? Still the same items as before? So. so. Uh, 
I'm 95, huh? Okay. Uh, real question for anyone watching this episode right now. What should I spend my jet black feathers on, if anything? Like, is there anything in particular that would be good to buy? Like, I don't know what a little BS ore is. Why would I spend 20 on that? Same with the great trees, fruit, unicorn horn, blah, blah, blah. E Eolite ore. I think I had an Eolite ore before. I think I just sold that off for like a bunch of points. Isn't, isn't that what that's for? <coughs> I have no idea, honestly. But anyway, if you have any recommendations for what I should spend it on, I guess just let me know and we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. And I hope... Well, I don't think I asked for any recommendations before, but in case I did and I got an answer and I just forgot, I, I guess please let me know again. And maybe next time around, if you've already told me once, maybe the second time around I'll actually do it. We'll see, we'll see. Sometimes I'm just kind of bad with remembering things like oh shoot I used to take notes sometimes when I would do streams and let's plays and be like okay I gotta remember about this and honestly I should probably go back to doing that but I haven't been doing that for a while now it's just mm, I don't know <laughs> perhaps I've lowered the quality of my own content by doing that but I mean as if the quality couldn't drop any further than it already has but I mean eh. <coughs> Let's just stop taking notes and be like, nope, 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 nope. Less, less quality, more delays. <laughs> Perfect content there. One episode every month, the same quality as before. Yes, absolutely, totally. Like, nope, no, not even like extra, extra put into it. Just nope. Good lord. <coughs> it's a bad habit, really. Even today, I mean, as I was recording, like, I actually had some... Oh, I was a person. Even today, as I had some time to actually record, it's like, uh, well... I don't know, I put it off for... I don't know, at this point. Like an hour, hour and a half longer than necessary. It's almost... I'm gonna do my first save of the episode, I guess, right now. I'll show you right now. But it's like 6 o'clock right now. 6.21 to be more specific. Wait, what was this? The 20th? Actually, that's even longer than I thought. That was six days. It's, it's, it's the 26th right now, spoiler alert. But, um... Yeah, as, as you can see, much much better uh, turnaround time compared to before. Where it was just like, oh yeah, that's, that was like 30... Oh my gosh, that was like a month and ten days right there. This is six days. That's, that's, that's much better. It's, that's much better. It's a little better. But... I don't know, I feel like I should have been record started recording this around, I don't know, 4.30, 5 o'clock at the latest? And 6.21. Oh my gosh. Like, even on the days I do record, I just kind of, like, whoop, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. I mean, to be fair, I did schedule a stream archive of Persona 5 Royal, I, I, I did uh, get my first win of the day in Splatoon 3. I, I ate a little food. I mean, I did some stuff. It's not like I was completely unproductive, but like, still, I don't know. I could have gotten that done a little faster. <coughs> there was a little laziness in there, I will admit, but I mean, it wasn't all spent just like sitting around. My daddy went. Oh, in auto advance. He said it's going to be a really tough job that will last for months and months, and I made him a force spirit charm to keep him safe. Please, what are you doing to my daddy? Okay. Daddy said he see heaven. Please tell him I'll be a good girl, so don't worry and come home safely. The Alati Sea Haven. I will not remember that at all. Seriously, where am I going? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to leave town. It's gonna take a while before the wyverns recover. Am I just supposed to come back to the freaking manor? Like I. I... <coughs> Talk to Alvin, I can't find... Uh, hello. I guess Leia's here. Hi, Leia! <sighs> what the heck?! Don't creep up on a girl like that! You okay? You look down in the dumps. You shouldn't push yourself so much. You weren't the healthiest kid, you know? Do you have to keep reminding me? It's been ages since I've been sick. I know, but I still can't help but worry. I still appreciate it. 
but I'm worried too. About what? That do-gooder nature of yours. In case you've forgotten, it's what got us into this mess. Maybe you shouldn't have come in the first place. I'm here for my own reasons, thank you. Like what? Those Spyrexes are trouble. I want to destroy them. Because Mila said so? That's part of it. But I've actually seen one before. Seriously? It was a really long time ago. I know how terrifying those things are. Why are you trying to destroy the Spyrexes in the lands of Kresnik? Because Mila because wants Mila to. Mila said so? Yeah! <laughs> no, that's not why. If you need a reason... You don't have one? I do. Nope. I just rather keep it to myself. Sure. All right. You know, destroying the Lance of Kresnik is the last thing on our to-do list. Huh? What are your plans afterward? Will you head back to Fenmon and finish becoming a doctor? Or will you come home to Laronde? I haven't had a chance to decide yet. One thing at a time. We just need to finish what we've started. Yeah. You're right. Let's finish this job together. You got it. I wonder what Mila's going to do when this is all over. Mila's probably just going to do some crazy things because yes. <coughs> and that's okay. Uh, well, I guess we're still kicking around. All right, let's see if anyone's inside the manor. Hello, Rowan J. Elbert. I see you here. Thinking about Noctigal? Maybe this is none of my business, but how did you get mixed up with him? We first met when Noctigal joined the army as an officer. He wanted to serve, despite his royal birth. He and I were assigned to the same division. We fought in many battles together. We earned promotions and glory. That sort of thing builds a bond between men. We were truly brothers in arms. It was a glorious time for both of us. However, Noctigal's growing influence began to threaten the power of his two elder brothers. The older princes ostracized Noctigal, even as they feared him. I know what happened next. The sleepless night we all learned about in history class. That brief civil war erupted when the late king passed away before naming a successor. The six ruling houses and the lesser nobles split into two factions. It was the biggest political upheaval in modern Roshigal history. And it lasted until Noctigal slew his two older brothers with the help of the military. He was a war hero after all. Man, what a hero for, for slaying days, his brothers. The people rallied behind Noctigal and his new regime. Noctigal may have won the struggle, but he lost something dear to him. He lost his only ally in the royal family, his beloved sister, Princess Kerry. It hit Noctigal hard. He was overcome with grief. They didn't teach us that part. He expanded his totalitarian control once he became king, and there was no one left to check his power. Not even you? Many pinned their hopes on me to act as a moderating influence on the king. I chose to leave the army instead. It has been a difficult decision to live with. You shouldn't blame yourself. It's not even really Noctigal's fault. His brothers caused all this. I agree. Which is precisely why I failed to recognize when Noctigal began to stray from the just path. We turned our eyes away from our duty. He and I both, despite knowing that doing so would cause many of our people to suffer. In contrast, the King of Arjul has never wavered from doing what must be done. 
You may be right. Despite both being kings, Noctagall and Gaius definitely left different impressions on me. The people no doubt see King Gaius as a superb ruler. He kind of reminded me of Mila, to be honest. An astute observation. They do share two things in common. Determination! The will to do what must be done, and the conviction to do it for the sake of others. Yeah, close enough. It sounds like they go hand in hand. Yes, I believe all truly strong people possess those two virtues. But Noctagall's convictions became warped, and I lack the will to stop him. If... and I'm not saying you will. But if you decide not to fight Noctagall, I wouldn't blame you. Thank you. Would you mind leaving me with my thoughts? I will make my decision before it is time for us to leave. All right, sounds good, Rowan. We'll we'll do just that. Now, where the heck is other people at? Nobody's here. Were they up in the stairs? Up in the rooms of the of the building? No. Yes. Maybe. Perhaps. No. Nobody's here. No. Where are the other people at? Where's Where's Mila? Where is Elise? I assume we gotta talk to them still. Where the heck are they at? Well, there's Elise. There's no Mila. Mila, where you at? <coughs> What's wrong? People won't call me Ellie like you used to. Well, hey, Elise. You seem glum. Well, how about finding other people who can get close enough to call you Ellie? You mean, get closer to you and Mila? Yeah, Tipo should too. Really? Hey. It's not like I have lots of friends or anything, but I have enough to know they're pretty priceless. And the best part of friendship is sharing new experiences together. <laughs> she Indeed. sure is a smarty pants! <laughs> well, I am an honor student. I just think it'd be nice if we all got to know each other better. Don't you think so? Yes! Yes, indeed. Kick around while the wyverns are healing. So, Mila, where are ya? I think she's the only one we haven't talked to yet, right? I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't see any indicators in the area. Nothing over here, nothing anywhere. Hello, Mila. I guess you were just waiting for me to talk to everyone first. Now it makes sense. Uh, hi, bye, see you later, alligator. I never thought we'd end up back here again. It seems like forever ago that you were injured. Have you figured out your mission? What you must do? I... I just want to help you out. I see. But that's not all. I want to protect the spirits as well. You go to such lengths to protect humans, so it's only fair that I become strong enough to protect spirits, too. Hmm. You will strive to be our protector. A bold statement. Maybe I've been wrong about humans after all. Hmm? I never imagined one of you wanting to protect our kind, let alone making it his mission. I'm almost speechless. I've never felt this happy. Now I really must destroy the Lance of Kresnik, for all our sakes. That reminds me. What are you planning on doing after you've destroyed the Lance? Destroying the Lance and the Spyrex devices is merely one facet of my mission here. My whole reason for existing hasn't changed. So you'll return to Nia Kara and live the way you did before? Most likely. But, but with Exodus around, won't your life still be in danger? Hmm. 
also likely. What you need is a bodyguard, someone to watch your back. Are you offering to stay with me? Uh, is that possible? If nope. that's what you decide to do, then you should do it. Why do you shake your head like no? I'll need to create some story to keep you by my side. Really? Thank you. It's the least I can do. You're the reason I'm standing here right now, preparing to fulfill my mission. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Huh? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. We haven't even gotten to the real fight yet. <laughs> Good point. Oh, just the pair I was looking for. Your wyverns have fully recovered. That was fast. Let's return to the plaza. Okay. <clears throat> like, honestly, that really wasn't that long in the grand scheme of things. Of course, it was like most of the episode because I didn't know where the heck I was going or what the heck I was doing, but... <sighs> Excuse me. I mean, eventually it got figured out, so, I mean, it just, you know, it happens. Not bad, not bad at all. And now we just go up here to the wyverns. The wyverns are waiting for us now. Hello, wyverns. That's not a wyvern, that's a building. Oh. Where's Alvin? He hasn't shown up yet. I mean, maybe He's Alvin just hijacked the freaking wyverns from us. Not true. What does everyone else think of Alvin? Would you feel safe going into battle with him? He's just trying to help out his mom, right? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I worry he himself will be unable to deal with that way of life much longer. <laughs> Don't forget, Alvin was the one who saved me from the bad guys. What do you think? We'll need to keep up our guard around him until he reveals his hand. He remains trustworthy in battle, at least. No, no, it's not polite to talk about someone behind his back. It's like he was just standing there the whole time. Like, yeah, I heard you guys. I don't care. What can I say? You guys are my only allies. That makes everyone. Let's be off. Please wait! Rowan, are you really gonna fight with your old buddy? It is my fault that Noctagall became the man he is. I am prepared to fight him when the time comes. You have our support. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. I've got your back too! Thank you, everyone. Don't worry. I'll pick up your dentures if you drop them, Grandpa. <laughs> Please do. What? No pithy retort? I guess that means we're all ready. Let's make our final preparations before setting off. All right, uh, the pride of Sherilton. You're tottering all over the place. I was staring at the windmill, and now the world the keeps meal? spinning. Uh, I assume that's the windmill she's talking about. I have no idea. The Pride of Sherilton! Has everyone seen Sherilton's famous windmill? Actually, we haven't had a chance yet. It's well worth your time. The view from the plaza is particularly striking. A wyvern's diet. Flying was so much fun! The wyverns weren't as scary as I thought they'd be. I'm just glad they didn't eat you. Huh. Too bad they didn't eat Alvin the traitor. Oh, did I forget to mention wyverns only eat children? But they don't eat their flesh. They nibble away at their souls. So gently that the kids don't even notice. While you were enjoying soaring through the sky, most of your soul could have been chewed away. That's a lie. That's total nonsense. <laughs> they make it too easy. No kidding, jeez Louise. <clears throat> Way too easy indeed. Uh, 
that's the windmill though, right? 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 I, I want to do the windmill thing, because it sounds like it'd be quick, but I have to know where to go first, too. Oh, no, 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 wait, oh, I'm sorry? Wait, wait, you manage to special just one of each? One, please? Oh, a wind stick. Nice. As many as I can carry, please. Yeah, why not? You know, it's like it's free. It's free items, and you can get a wind stick. Like, oh man, I, I can't wait to get a wind stick. That'd be so cool. This is probably not where we're supposed to go, and I'm just going out of town for literally no reason at all. Good job. Anyway. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely not that away. But where do we go otherwise? I don't know. Do 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 She's gonna talk about Jeff Blackfellers and I don't even know. Yeah, so I don't know. This windmill thing confuses the heck out of me a little bit. <coughs> Just a little bit. Hello? Rowan, perfect timing. I wanted to ask you something about Lady Drusel. Accept the request, sure. Has something happened to Lady... That's not the right voice. Mm, has something happened to Lady... I can't even freaking Rowan. She's doing her best to act brave, but she's emotionally exhausted and hasn't been sleeping well lately. Oh dear, there must be something we can do to put her heart at ease. There is. We can make her favorite orange soup. Orange soup? Oh, of course. Lord Klein used to make that for her all the time. Right, but I'm afraid I don't know the recipe. Ah, indeed. That was always a secret the young lord kept to himself. But it is clear that what must be done, I shall seek out some orange soup and bring it to you. Thank you, Rowan. Orange soup. <coughs> Where the flipper are you gonna find orange soup? Is that... But... What? I don't know. I feel kind of confused at the concept of orange soup, honestly. I don't know. Is it, like, orange colored? Or is it just, like, flavored with the fruit oranges? That's why I'm not really understanding. It's... Oh. Okay, I mean, it doesn't specify what size, I mean, if I can literally just go buy a freaking orange soup from the shop and just give it to her, I guess I'll try that, let's see. Mmm, do it. There we go. Thank you, Rowan, now I'll be able to prepare orange soup for Lady Drusel. I was happy to help, although I fear it won't taste the same as Lord Klein's soup. It doesn't have to. Lady Drusel. <coughs> Just knowing that you made it out of concern for me is the best seasoning I could hope for. Thank you, madam. I promise you I'll work hard to make the best soup I can. Would it be okay if I helped? Klein used to make it a lot, right? I want to try doing the same things that he did. I would be delighted. Wonderful. Cooking is a fine way to brighten one's mood. And it's good practice for when you get married. Rowan! You know I'm not ready to get married yet. My apologies. I'm afraid I got ahead of myself. Whoopsie. How'd you getting ahead of yourself? I am a sphere plus. What does that do? An item that increases the number of slots in your auto items menu. Each item sphere plus adds another slot. Oh. So then I would probably want to auto items. Ooh. Yeah, so Alright, that could be a good idea, honestly. Alright, so I'm thinking uh, huh. Wait. There's no There's no ice pop? <coughs> I was hoping to get a wind stick, honestly. Mm 
do 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 Okay, fine. That's okay, I guess. Maybe a lemon... Are these cheap? I guess. Okay. Uh, condition poison. Petrify, art seal, skill seal, psychic drain, link seal, any physical element, any magical element, any kind of element. I don't know. That's, that's the problem I'm having right now. I actually don't know what I should consider for this. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I want to just go lemons, I guess, right? Yeah. <coughs> Hopefully that'll be okay. I'll do 20%. We'll just say until zero items left. There's no real reason to... To just hoard these, right? At least I wouldn't think so. I have more Lilium orbs to do. I guess I kind of forgot to do the rest after Jude was done. So that's uh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, no doubt about it. I think Leia would definitely appreciate a little extra defense. Maybe a little extra SP while we're at it. Eh, let's see why not. Anyway, Mila. Uh, excuse me. I don't know... I guess we'll go that way, and then we should be done with this. And now it says orb one, so we just unlock your second orb. Nice. Temporary. Temporary what? Void stagger in five seconds of successful back step dodge on the ground. I mean, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. Oh, wait, I gotta go back to orb two. I don't necessarily really know what's good for Mila here. Because I don't really use Mila, so I don't even think she's even a voted member on the party right now. Okay, Alvin just got Orb 2, nice. Sustain Charge, very nice. Reminder, what does that do? When you charge, even if your attack misses while well, charge. Well, that's nice. That is actually kind of nice, honestly. <coughs> Alright, Alvin, we want you to be a big-time damage dealer. Thank you very much. Just do that damage. Just do all the damage you possibly could do. Okay, I was gonna say, is this the, the thingy that we're working on? Yes, it is indeed the thingy we're working on. Alright, good job. Tipo Roar. That is... That one's Rage of the Tipo Shape Projectile. Tipo is off, it's stronger, and knocks foes further. Okay. So... I, I wish it was like an in-between. Like instead of just zooming it all the way out, how about we like get like somewhere in the middle? I, I would probably appreciate that honestly, but alas. Anyway. That's okay, that's okay, honestly. Let's go with <coughs> Well, this is hard. This is hard to figure out at the moment. I mean, more defense would always be great, I feel. Warrior 2 saying Tipo off increase movement speed 100 percent I don't think that's super necessary for her, honestly, especially as an AI. Resistance to darkness! Mm. I'll tell Xehanort that we found the resistance to darkness. Oh boy. Alright. Well, obvious thing here is we gotta get this thing done, so yeah, it might not be ideal to raise Rowan's strength, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and there was a couple things we got, I don't know what it was, it was for Mila, might as well, there's not really anything else we can give her at the moment, <coughs> sustain, sustain charge will be nice for her though, Def or for Alvin, I, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about at this point. Yep, 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 yep. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you tell me otherwise. Alright, we're good, we're good. Everyone is good. The only thing I really think of is just go check the item shop, I suppose, and then... We'll probably go ride some wyverns again! Oh boy! It's wyvern riding time! 
Or at least very soon. It will be very, very soon. Alright, apple gels. Lemon gels were untouched. Good stuff, good stuff. Orange gels. Pineapple gels were also untouched because we didn't use all our orange gels even, which is very nice. Melange gels. Wait. Wait, hold on actually. The item shop's not exactly close to expansion, so I think we'll be safe here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I don't think I really want to use treats. Probably not. There we go, level 27, a discount for treat. See, now it's even cheaper. Now we can really buy a treat. 200 for Panacea Bottle, it's not too bad. That is definitely not too bad, actually. Okay, anyway. <coughs> we are good. We are good. Now then. As for our Wyvern ride, let's... Uh... Yeah, actually, you know what? No, let's let's go talk to this guy. Because I just noticed him. <laughs> wow. The scale of the spirit art that must be required to keep this many windmills spinning boggles the mind. As a servant of House Cheryl, may I ask what your business is here? Oh, I'm just appreciating certainly. windmills. Forgive my intrusion. I was just observing the spirit arts that you use to turn the windmills. Turn the windmills? What is he talking about? I think I'll let Professor Jude field this one. Well, the wind that makes Sherilton's windmills turn comes from channeling spirits. The spirit arts are cast in a way that amplifies wind flow throughout the entire city, and the enhanced wind power is funneled toward the windmills that need it. Remember, kids, this will be on the final. Hmm. Fascinating. Wow, you really know your stuff. Hey, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me with my research. What are you looking into? I'm studying spirit climb changes, and how they're affected by spirit art usage. My plan is to gather data from Sherilton, with its heavy usage of spirit arts, and compare that to data from Bermia Gorge, which has high levels of spirit climb variability. That's an interesting idea. I'm pretty interested myself. I say we help out. Very well. Uh, great! Okay then. Could you use this spirit climb examination art at Bermia Gorge's highest point? This research could significantly impact the future of Riza Maxia. I appreciate your help with it. <clears throat> spirit climb examination art. Man, I love examining them arts. Documents outlining special type of spirit art. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do about that at a later point, anyway. But for right now, everyone, I think now it's, uh, I think it's about time we call this an episode, actually. And then, a uh, next episode, we will absolutely be taking some wyverns somewhere. Probably closer to knock the gull, but, you know, we're, we're going places. We're going places. And... I can tell you one thing, I am recording more than one episode, so for the first time in a while, I can actually say I'm doing a recording session, not freaking like, oh, I'm just recording one episode. Woo, let's go. Oh my gosh, two plus episodes. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a few, actually. I don't know. I feel like I might be up until like 10 o'clock tonight, and you saw that. It was like 7 on that save file right there, so, I mean, you know, think about how many episodes I could record tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. Think about it! Think about it! That's a lot of episodes, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up, and we'll ride some wyverns tomorrow, you know? It'll be, it'll be great. Oh, boy. Giselle, you're gonna make us ride what? Oh, no, she's gone. Oh, no, she's gone. Oh, 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 no, she's gone. All right, everyone. Bye! Hello, everyone! You've reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to our tier 4, 5, and 6 channel members Phoenix Edgeworth, Acheron X2, Jello Cat, and Reaper Dev. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you too would like to get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all tier 4 and above channel members. I hope you all have an awesome day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.